to Automotive One, your automotive channel number one. Panther F-Pace vs Range Rover Beeler Panthers F-Pace and Land Rover's Range Rover Beeler tussle in this skin competition. From the July 2018 issue. It won't shock you to discover that we here at CD consistently can't help contradicting each other. It's frequently about unimportant issues. For example, to what extent a George Metro can keep running without oil in its crankcase, we'll settle that contention soon. Infrequently, we quarrel about all the more problems that need to be addressed, as regardless of whether the cost of official proofreader Jared Gall's steel trap T perspirant will increment with the climb in Chinese exchange levies. Be that as it may, in the matter of the Jaguar F-Pace versus the Land Rover Range Rover Beeler, we achieved in once in a while accomplished agreement, the Jag wins this standoff of stage mates since it's more pleasant to drive each day. This alphanumeric soup of smaller than usual examination tests pits Jaguar's F-Pace 30 tons portfolio against Land Rover's Range Rover Beeler P250R Dynamic SE. Despite the fact that you'd not accumulated from their names, both utilize the organization's base power plant, a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4. The Jag's 30 tons assignment implies its rendition of JLR's Ingenium motor wrenches out 296 pull. But since America cherishes decisions, Jag additionally has a F-Pace 25 tons with the same 247 horsepower process found in the Beeler we tried. We can fade the 296 horsepower Jaguar to meet the 247 horsepower Land Rover in light of the fact that their costs adjusted best, and on the grounds that the Beeler offers just the lower yield rendition of the Gas 4. Additionally, convoluting the powertrain choices are JLR's 180 horsepower 4 barrel diesel and 380 horsepower supercharged 3.0 liter V6, which are accessible in the two years. To judge from the spec sheets, these are fundamentally the same as SUVs. Both are based on JLR's aluminum Sirius D7A stage. Both come standard with 8-speed programmed transmissions and all-wheel drive, ride on 113.1-inch wheel bases, and utilize the same multi-link front and back suspensions bolstered by loop springs. Be that as it may, we don't pass judgment on from the spec sheets. We judge out and about and at the test track. And it's in those spots that the Jaguar's motor and frame do a great part of the persuading. Its capacity favorable position, because of a metal roller turbo with a greater blower lodging and 5.8 pounds per square inch more lift, yields a 1.2 second snappier 0 to 60 mile per hour run, 6.2 versus 7.4 seconds. It additionally helps a 1.0 second favorable position through the quarter mile. It's a power distinction that issues not exactly when the UTA is driven with reason yet in addition in day-by-day -day utility. Most telling is the F-Pace's 2.0 second lead, 7.1 versus 9.1 seconds, in our 5 to 60 mile per hour moving begin test, where its edge in adaptability converts into a more usable genuine SUV. Need to press into a gap in rush hour gridlock or punch around a few moderate movers on a two-path? The Jaguar is there. The F-Pace is lovely, if juggle, snarl, which doesn't give it away as a four barrel, won't wake your relative. The F-Pace's dynamic prevalence reaches up into each contribution at its will, which turns a variable proportion directing rack with a possibly faster general proportion than the rovers. There's an unvarnished trustworthiness in its guiding that is absent in the Veeler's steerage. Not that the rover isn't competent out and about, every one of its controls play out their obligations fearlessly yet without the Jag's excitement. Driven forcefully, the rover never lost the Jag's tail on our 10 best circle. Be that as it may, the F-Pace is effortlessly the better communicator of the street's condition and the accessible grasp. It supplies a total report, broadcasting undulations and finds the driver's hand. Also, however that hecticness doesn't generally befit an extravagant SUV. It obviously explains the F-Pace's braking points. You can presumably figure that the rover's ride is the more agreeable of the two. Both game utilities were all-season elastic estimated 255-50R20, yet the F-Pace's good years help give it a slight edge over the Beeler's Pyrolis on the skip pad, where it hovered at 0.85 grams to the rover's 0.84 grams. Brake feel and reaction out and about are awash, yet the Beeler showed direct blur at the track where it likewise required an extra 7 feet to prevent from 70 miles per hour contrasted in the jet. As it weighs just 60 pounds more than the 4,332-pound F-Pace, the Beeler's Pirelli tires are the presumable guilty parties. 
Stiffer spring and base damping rates are the Jags partners out and about, however with four driving modes to the Wheeler 6, three of which are rough terrain particular, and with a half inch less front suspension travel, the F-Pace does not have the Wheeler's earth cone scope. Air springs, which modify ride stature and enhance water fording profundity, are a Wheeler element when you decide on the V6, just like a programmed bolting back differential. So in case you're that incredibly uncommon hybrid purchaser with a craving to befoul your extravagant vehicle, the Wheeler is your huckleberry. Inside, the Rover is a spearheading starship to the Jags maturing F-14. Its hull and side treatment is more rich. Its materials are better, its shapes more clean, its style more present day. A major piece of that style, in any case, originates from its dependence on double touch screens, which smooth and purify its surfaces by liberating them of catches. What's more, in light of the fact that there are no catches, numerous optional controls are covered in the menus and sub-menus. Enhancing the circumstance to some degree are three handles overseeing volume, temperature, and drive mode. The F-Pace utilizes genuine catches to flip between drive modes and to work the ventilation framework. The outcome is that, on adjust, its controls are all the more rapidly discovered, more natural, and less demanding to use than the dealers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel.